Also, we're going to continue with Chapter 7, uh, the posting uh, journal in, entries to general ledger and uh, all accounts. So now, let's go ahead and, and mention again what we did. Uh, we did the general ledger on the section one. So now remember, accounting, it's, it, you keep adding up uh, to what you, you had before. So and knowledge is continuous. So that means whatever we learned before, so we're going to keep using. So we're probably going to be using again and again the same things that we did before because they are all interconnected. So now we, get, we talked about posting. Also, we're going to be talking about it again. And then we're going to be preparing the trial balance, uh, the last section. Um, so this chapter is a little bit longer chapter than the other ones. Uh, just to remind you that uh, the general ledger, what's the purpose of it, is to, to take all the information from the from the journal itself and post it to the ledger. That's why we say we call it posting. So because you take a new post, and after you do the posting, you do the trial balance, and then something else comes in after that in the next chapters. Something called uh, worksheets, income statements and then the remaining of the cycle remember this is the accounting cycle but we start from here uh, starting from chapter three and we kept on going and going and going now we are here now we're doing two things the posting and the trial balance so this one has more things in it this chapter and uh, we're going to continue uh, with the uh, trial balance which is at the end of the uh, chapter trial balance usually uh, after you, you're done with the journal, this is your journal, by the way. So just to remind you, this is how the journal would look like. This is exactly this is a, a actual professional general journal, where you see, where you see the debit and the credit uh, involved. And now, when you're done with the journal, you go to the ledger. So the ledger takes all the information in the journal and put them in in separate accounts. So the cash will take all the cash money. Uh, accountancy will take all the amount that has in it, all the everything. It will be divided into accounts, so every account has its own balance. Now, at the end of the the journal, and the end of the ledger after that, we take everything and we put them in a trial balance. Why we call it trial balance? Because we want to make sure that it's it is balanced. That's so from the name of it. So if if the if everything we did is balanced, there's a ninety percent chance everything is correct. Remember, I said 90%, it's not 100%, because there could be also a, a wrong numbers being entered, even if it's balanced, but still bad, you know, uh, uh, there's one, one number is wrong. Look at this one here. So you can see all the debits and all the credits here, for example, right? So if you add all the debits, they have to add up to all the credits. And that's when you when you say, well, my, my trial balance is being balanced here. So now, see, remember this, this is all the accounts that we had. So we have all those accounts and we have a balance for each one. And where did we get the balance? We had it from the what ledger. So after we did the posting, we did the, 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 the balance of the each ledger account, which is in this case, let's look at this one, cash. We have 21,000. And uh, for example, this one, and you keep adding, 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 and they're gonna add up at the end. Now finding correcting errors, this is, we'll, we'll talk about in class, okay? so. Uh, and when we when we find errors and there's a way to correct it, there's two different ways. So we'll talk about also both those different ways it has to be mentioned. Uh, some could be you know crossed and some will have to be written as another journal. Uh, and more details about this one in class. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Bye bye.